So what's up everybody? What's going on? I know I've been missing these past couple of weeks, um, but trying to pump out some more videos. I know one that has been really popular has been my cold calling video. So I'm actually gonna do another cold calling session, but this time I'm gonna actually use call tools instead of Mojo Dialer. Um, if you guys have watched my last cold calling video, I did use Mojo Dialer before in the past. I was a long time Mojo customer for about four years. So I've changed that up with using call tools and the reason why is call tools has a lot more phone lines that I can use and I can make a lot of calls faster. The other day I was on there for about, I don't know, two hours or so and I was able to make 2,500 phone calls. With Mojo Dialer, I was able to make a thousand phone calls in a six to seven hour period. It's a long time to make phone calls and you know, to try to replicate that every day is tough. So the fact that Call Tools, they have a 10 line dialer. You know, I wouldn't advise you use the 10 line dialer. I have my own little strategy on it. You know, I'll, I'll address that maybe in another video or something. But let's get started. So if you're wondering when I'm calling, this is gonna be all driving for dollars, the usual stuff that I do. And it's going to be in an area that I hit frequently it's a lot of vacant houses out there, so let's see what we could grab. So this is not an old list. I've already text blasted this. I've gotten a couple deals out of it. So now I'm actually gonna go ahead and call it. So let's hop in the dialer. Now the cool thing is that you don't actually have to use your phone in order to dial out. You're literally just using the web phone on here. All right, so I am gonna use my actual computer I'm not gonna use my headphones. I got my little microphone up here so you guys can hear these calls. And we're gonna hop in real quick. So right now, I'm about to hop in here. There's 4,800 people to be called. As far as today, I've already made 600 calls. I was on here for like about an hour. Um, I'm gonna use the 10 line dialer and hopefully, you know, find ourselves a deal. It'd be cool if we do. So let me go ahead and log into this. Got a little bit of liquid courage with me. If you're wondering what I'm drinking. Makers 46, I got an old fashioned over here. Hello? Hello. Hi, my name is Dan. Um, I'm wondering if you're the owner of 503 Woodside Drive. Yeah, we're not wanting to sell it. Okay, I completely understand that. Would you happen to have any other property or land that you would sell? No, we're property owners and property management companies, and we don't sell any of our stuff. All righty then. Well, thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So that was pretty fast. Let's see what the next one pops up. I'm going to do 30 minutes straight. Hello? 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 Uh, hi, my name is Dan. I'm, I'm looking for the owner of 901 Moses Court. Is that you? Yes, that is me, but I don't have that property up for sale. I completely understand that. Um, is there any time in the future you might sell it by any chance? The folks just renting it is supposed to be getting ready to buy it. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, by any chance, would you happen to have any other property or land that you would sell? I mean, for the right price, I sell the property that I'm, that I'm currently living in. Uh, I mean, if you're looking for somebody to overpay, I definitely can tell you it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, uh, I, didn't, I, didn't ask, I didn't ask you to overpay, but I am looking for somebody to pay a fair, a fair price. Well, what, what's a price that you would consider? I mean, to, I'm, not, I'm not looking for somebody to, to jip me out of my... Mm -hmm. No, I, I completely understand that. What, what's a price that would work for you and, and what's the property address? Well, the property address is 314 West Timberland Drive and that is in Grover, North Carolina, 28073. That is the property address. What are you looking to get for it? I had never thought about it till you just called. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, that's a really nice but neighborhood. Now, you you can uh, just just let me know what you what you think. Okay, I can do that. Um, mm -hmm. Just uh, I'll probably get back to you. If not today, probably uh, tomorrow. Is that okay if I give you a call tomorrow? It will be okay. Will it be from this same number? Um, no, I'm going to, I'm going to call you for my personal cell. It's a. Yeah. If you just see the six, five, five, that's me. Okay, great. All right. I'll be looking to, I'll be looking to see what, uh, what, what kind of price you come up with, Dan. Okay. Um, but let me, let me ask you a quick question though. Have you done any updates to it or any, any type of repairs lately in the last five years? Well, I mean, I'm currently, uh, not not any major uh repairs or anything but uh but have i done some upgrades um yes i have built a 
I don't know what size. It's a big building. It's a three bay building. Um, and had the uh, the driveway. Uh, it's, it's asphalt, uh, so it is. Uh, you know, we had it. We had you know, black top. Some people call it black top, and some people call it asphalt. So we had a, a building put on the property. A nice. bigger building. It already has one. Now we have a bigger one. Oh, very nice. I forgot what the size of it is. It's like, I don't know, 30 by something. Okay. And um, is it a three-bedroom or a four-bedroom home? The, the the home is a, it's actually two big bedrooms, three bathrooms, a uh, basement, two sunrooms, uh, of course, kitchen, living room, and uh, I guess they call it a, uh, a dinette nook, uh, a dinette kitchen kitchen area, uh, kitchen table area. Uh, nice. Um, do you have a time frame garage. that if if you if we did come to an agreement, what what's your time frame that you would think that you would want to maybe move, like maybe six months, a year from now? I mean, if we came to an agreement and you know the right price come in. Uh, I think I could probably move a little bit closer, uh, a little bit quicker than six months. Uh, it'd probably be somewhere six months or less. Okay. Where, where are you thinking about moving to? I'm staying right here in Grover. Ah, uh, you like Grover? Uh, mm, not necessarily like Grover. It's just the fact that it's just a small town and, um, and it's easy access to uh, the interstate. That is so true. That's the reason why I, I don't live near uh, near Charlotte. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I like the outskirts of Charlotte. I do not want to live in Charlotte. I don't blame you. That is where I work at. I actually work in Fort Mill, but I, I live in Grover. Oh, Fort Mill's not too bad of a afford, commute. I can't afford uh, Charlotte prices. Yeah, I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. Well, let me see what I can come up with, and uh, mm -hmm. maybe maybe we can figure something out. And uh, mm -hmm. I guess we'll, we'll go from there. Okay. Well, I'll be looking for that 655 telephone call. Yes, ma'am. Don't worry. I, I, I'll definitely call you whether I can work something out with you or not. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you, Dean. All right. You're very welcome. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, so that lead, it might turn out to be something. You see how I, I positioned myself and I said that I wasn't interested in overpaying for the property. And she said, well, I'm not looking for somebody to overpay. I'm looking for somebody to give me a fair price. I'm gonna make some notes here real quick. All right, so I went ahead, I already added it. I'm gonna add this to my hot leads. I have different categories, but I'm gonna, cause I am gonna call her tomorrow. I'm gonna try to give her a price and see, you know, what happens and, and go from there. Now, I don't think that this is gonna be a deal um, just because her house, it looks like this is a pretty nice house, nice neighborhood. I don't have a Google street view on it, but looking at an aerial view, um, it looks like people keep up their houses in the neighborhood. You know, I see a couple pools and whatnot. So this is actually a, a pretty nice little area. It's down right by the border and there's a casino nearby. Wow, she's right down the street from the casino. This actually might, might work out, who knows? We'll see. So let's get back on the call, see how fast we can get our next uh, next lead. Hello? What? Hi, my name is Dan. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for the owner of 204 Arden Drive. Is that you? By any chance, you know who uh, Margaret Lale is? Uh, I'm pretty sure she's dead. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Are, are you related to her? Nope. All right then, um, do you know of anybody that might be in charge of her estate? Oh, uh, no. All right, my friend. Well, thank you so much for your time. Hope you have a great day. I'm pretty sure he knew something. He just didn't want to tell me anything. Hello? Uh, hi. Um, my name is Dan. I'm, are you the owner of 1143 South DeKalb Street? No. By any chance, do you know Daryl Davis? No. All right, my friend. Well, thank you so much for your time. Hope you have a great day. You too. I know you're probably wondering why I didn't ask if he had any of the property or land that he might be interested in selling. I'm just trying to run through this quickly because I got like 1,400 leads. No, 4,700. In about, let me see. Hello, this is Dan. Hello, someone just called me from this number. 
Uh, yes, ma'am. I, I was trying to see if you were the owner of 128 Pine Street. Oh, no. What town are you in? Uh, I, I'm in Shelby, North Carolina. Oh, I'm in South Carolina. Oh, all right. Well, well, thank you so much. By any chance, you know Sarah Belk? I, I sure don't. All righty then. Well, uh, thank you so okay. much for your time. Okay. You know somebody else called asking for that same person? I would buy a house. Yes, ma'am. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> but I don't know who it is. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bye bye. You're welcome. Bye bye. I was trying to get her off fast because I, I, there was another call coming in. So the cool thing about call tools is, I'm, I'm gonna try to talk fast, is that when you're making outgoing calls, you also have calls that could come in and you can answer it and the lead will pop up with the information. That's why I like it. Hello? Yo. Hi, my name is Dan. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if you're the right person, but I'm looking for the owner of 117 Chestnut Street. Is that you? No. By any chance, you know Dorothy Beam? No. All right, my friend. Well, thank you so much for your time. Have a great day. Yeah. Hello? 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 Hi. Um, my name is Dan. I'm not I'm not sure if I have the right number, but I'm looking for the owner of a vacant lot on Polar Circle. Is that you? No, it's not. By any chance, you know Alma Dix Dixon? No, I don't. All righty. Uh, by any chance, do you have any property or land you might be interested in selling? No, not uh -huh. All right, my dear. Well, thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a great evening. Uh -huh. All right, I'm gonna pause this for a second. I want you to see this. So, let me see if I can pull the report real quick. <laughs> Man, I wish, wish I could uh, just see for the past <laughs> past hour, but just for today. So, in the past less than 20 minutes, I've made about a hundred, 156 phone calls in 10 minutes. That's insane. Uh, that used to take me about. <laughs> like literally about an hour. And, uh, it took me a little bit less than that, like maybe 45 minutes to make 150 to 200 phone calls in an hour. So I'm gonna jump back in here, let this roll. Hello? Hello? Hi, uh, my, my name is Dan. I'm, I'm calling about a property out in Shelby, North Carolina. I'm looking for Dwight Toms. Do you know him? Hello? Hey boss, how you doing? My, na my name is Dan. Um, is this Dwight? Yeah. Hey Dwight, I, I was calling about a property you have out in, in uh, Shelby, North Carolina. For some reason, I I, I can't think of the address. Um, I, I was I, just I, I was don't just, have any property there. You don't? No, not at all. Uh, do you have any in North Carolina whatsoever? Not any property at all. All I'm right. Located in Texas. Oh, okay. Yeah, then it might be a different Dwight Toms that I'm trying to reach then. Okay, then. All right, my friend. Thank you so much. All right. Bye. Bye. For some reason, <laughs> there was no address on this lead. I don't know how it slipped through my system, but uh, it's got... Hello? Yes. Hi, uh, my, my name is Dan. I'm looking for the owner of 1042 South Lafayette Street. Is that you? Yeah, it is. Hey, ma'am, how you doing today? Um, my, uh, I, I was just reaching out to see if you might have any interest in selling that property. Nah. Okay. No, uh, because I would put too many people out of work. They will be displaced. And um, after careful consideration, I was going to sell it and his stuff fell through. And I said, Lord, let it on my heart just to keep it. I completely um, understand that. Yeah, so I'm not going to, you know, do that. Well, by any chance, so, do, you, do you have any other property or land that you would sell? Uh, no, I'm in the problem. I'm renovating a piece of property that I put some tenants out on Kings Road. So I'm in the process of doing that now. Nice. I own a couple on Kings Road. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I'm working on a property right now. All righty then. Well, thank, right. thank so you so much for, you. that's okay. Thank you so much for your time. Yes, you're welcome. Bye-bye. This thing blows, blows through leads real quick. So look, I'm not spending a lot of time waiting for somebody to pick up. It's literally just hammering calls quickly. I used to be sitting waiting for about, what, 20 minutes waiting for a call? Now I'm usually talking to somebody within 60 seconds. So let's see, I got 22 minutes in here. Hello? 
Huh? Uh, hi, my name is Dan. I'm, I'm I'm not sure if I reached the right number, but I'm looking for uh, the owner of a vacant lot on Wilkshire Drive. Is that you? No, no, sir. By any chance, do you know Jamie Richard? No, uh, no, not at all. I'm getting a lot of texts from for a Jamie a lot, like a lot of texts. I'm pretty sure, man. Everybody's looking for that lot, so. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of people messaging me, like, "Are you, I'm interested in buying your lot?" And da da da. Like, I'm not Jamie, but I don't know who Jamie is. But. All right. Well, don't worry. I'll make sure that we don't contact you anymore. By any chance, do you have? <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it, bud. Yeah, man. Uh, by any chance, do you have any property or land that you would sell? By any chance? No, no, sir. All right, my friend. I appreciate your time, man. Have a good day. All right. All right. You too. It's good to get the, those calls, too, because you're weeding that out of the system. It's less money spent. Cold calling is the cheapest, technically, but it's also the most time consuming because I could send like 4,000 text messages, probably get some decent results out of it. 4,000 phone calls is a whole different game. Hello? Hello. Hi, um, my name's Dan. I'm, I'm not sure if I reached the right number, but I'm looking for the owner at 712 Live Oak Street. Is that you? Yes. Hey, um, I, I was just wondering if you had any interest in selling that property. No. Completely understand that. Nice, she hung up on me. So, <laughs> note to self. If you're, if you're thinking that people are going to be extremely nice to you when you call them, they're more than likely going to curse you out. Now, thankfully, everybody's been nice so far. Even this lady, she was nice. She told me she was the owner and she wasn't interested in selling. So, cool. Um, but, you know, you might get some people, especially this, this area right here, Shelby, North Carolina, is uh, it's a fun place. You know, people have threatened to shoot us, kill us, and uh, hang us. So... Pretty nice place to live, right? Sorry guys, I know I know some of you guys are from Shelby, North Carolina. Shelby is nice. I invest a lot of money into Shelby because I feel like Shelby needs to be beautiful again. Uh, yeah, so she is not interested. Let's keep going, see what we get. You know what, I have a new memory card here. Hey, how you doing, boss? Um, I, I'm I'm sorry to bother you. I'm looking for uh, the owner of 364 Oats Drive. Is that you? What's the name, man? Hey, boss. I, I was just calling to see if you had any interest in selling that property. And what what kind of offer are you willing to put in on? I know you know the property value, so what kind of offer are you willing to put in on? It really comes down to what the condition of the property is. Um. How much work do you think it might need? As is, what you can see from the street is what it is. Uh, you know that, that uh, area value is going up, up, up. So it's whatever you want to do, man. I, I mean, is there a, cr a tree growing in the living room? Is there a what? Is there a tree growing in the living room? There's everything you can see from the road, boss. All right, I mean, look. I'm gonna come in low, just because I have no idea what it might look like inside, or what kind of look, what kind of work it might need. I'm not gonna negotiate over the phone, but I wanted to see if your offer was even entertainable. But obviously, you like, nah, I'm gonna be so okay. I mean, we could be between twenty and seventy thousand. That's a pretty big range. All right, so guys like him, right? Mr. I want an offer over the phone and, you know, I want you to give me, you know, it's what it's, what it is from the road. Okay. From the road, let, let's, let's screenshot this so you can see what it looks like. So from the road, it looks okay, but this street view is probably from about five years ago. Okay. This house is probably going to need about I'm going to say $40,000 worth of work. And right now, because of real estate prices, you're looking at an offer of about ten dollars to $15,000 if it needs a full gut. So he's not really interested because he didn't want to tell you the, the condition. He didn't want to tell you anything. He just wanted a straight offer. So he's a looky-loo or a tire kicker, you know, whatever everybody wants to call people nowadays. So I'll put him in here. He's interested in selling, but he's going to be on my lowest priority follow-ups 
I'll follow up with him in six months just to see what he says. All right, so Mr. Looky Lou, I'll, I'll follow up with him in six months and see what he says. Maybe he sells, maybe he doesn't. This is a vacant house anyway. So let's go ahead and uh, before I start it. So just in case you guys think I'm not telling the truth, here goes my memory card right here that I'm gonna plug into this thing because these 4K videos take a lot of space. So let me plug this in real quick and, that, and I'm gonna try to finish this session. All right, so we're back at it. I know that didn't seem like I took a long time, but it took me about 20 seconds to do that. So back to this guy, I'm gonna go ahead and press continue. I have about 10 more minutes that I can be on here. So let's see. Hello? Hello. Uh, hey bud, my name is Dan. I'm, I'm not sure if I have the right person, but I'm looking for the owner of 101 Lily Street. Is that you? No, that is not me. When you find this person, please tell them to change their number. I totally understand that, man. By, by any chance. Hey, no problem. I, just, I get these phone calls all the time, but you're the first person I'm telling. Whenever you get in contact, if you do, tell them to change their number. <laughs> For sure, man. I sure will. <laughs> hey, I'm much obliged. All right. Take it easy, my friend. Bless it to you. Happy, happy weekend. Happy Friday. You too, man. Enjoy your weekend. That guy seemed pretty pissed because I'm pretty sure he gets a lot of calls and a lot of, a lot of texts. I, I DNC'd him out of my system, so. I'm completely out of my drink. I might be forced to drink the Amazon water. The good thing is you don't have to wait around for long. I want to... Uh, here we go. Hello, this is Dan. Yeah, hello. Hey, Mike. Uh, yes, ma'am. How can I help you? I just got a call from the number. Yeah, I, I think I was reaching out to you to see if you might be the owner of uh, 1414 Frederick Street in Shelby. Yeah, one more time. 1414 Frederick Street? Yeah, I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. That's all right. Thank you so much for your time. I hung up on her by accident. I was trying to reach the other call. There was another call coming in at the same time. Fortunately, I didn't get it. It's the only downfall of using a 10 line dialer. It's like pounding hard. Imagine you're making 10 phone calls in a 60 second period. So that means in 10 minutes, you made a hundred phone calls or more. I don't even know how long it takes to make a phone call. I think it's like 30 seconds. So you're making 20 phone calls every minute, roughly with a 10 line dialer. Now, my system is transferring over a uh, phone number still. So apparently my, my database has grown by like a thousand phone numbers since I've been on the phone. It was at 4,500, it's at 50. Hello? Hello? Uh, hi, my name is Dan. I'm not sure if I have the right number, but I'm looking for the owner of 2320 Peninsula Ave. Is that you? Mm, I don't even know where that's at. Shelby, North is Carolina. Is that the state of Idaho? No, that's in Shelby, North Carolina. No, nope. Alrighty. Well, thank you so much for your time. By any chance, do you know? You're welcome. Do you know Alan Poole? No idea. You know, I've had somebody else call me with that name today, and I said, you know what? I've had this number for probably thirty years. I don't know who that is, and that is a wrong number for an Alan Poole. <laughs> I totally understand that. <laughs> it's probably about my third call today on it. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I'll make sure I don't call you anymore. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. You have a great day. No problem. You too. All right, bye-bye. Yeah, so, I mean. Hello? 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 Uh, hi, my name is Dan. Um, are you the owner of 806 East Marion Street in Shelby? Oh, uh, yeah. Hi, I, I was just calling to see if you might have any interest in selling that property. No, I'm sorry we don't. That's okay. Um, would you happen to have any other property or land that you might be interested in selling? I sure don't. We just sold the last bit of it. Oh man, I'm a little too late. That's right. <laughs> yep. That's okay. Are, well, are you the one buying up all this property around here and fixing it up? A little bit. Yeah. Well, we appreciate that you're doing it. I'm trying. I, I really do want to beautify Shelby. I think it could be great again. Yeah, I I, I agree with you. Um. I, I, I yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. Keep not going at it. Not a problem. I've already, I, I just redid this whole house and I'm not leaving it, but I, I, I appreciate you picking up around me. <laughs> hey, that's okay. You know what? It, it helps us all out in the end because, I mean, it gives people a beautiful place to live. Right. It does. Um, 
we'll keep going. All righty. Well, thank you so much. Uh huh. I appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. You have a good one. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. See, people appreciate our work. I want you to find that as encouragement. People appreciate what you do. I'll pause it real quick. Just because that, that call was, was nice. You see a lot of people talk about gentrification is bad and you buying all these, these houses, fixing them up and increasing the property values. Like, yeah, there, there is a down point to everything that you do. You know, yeah, that negativity of increasing property values, that does suck. Don't get me wrong. You know, nobody wants to pay more money in taxes. It's free money for the government, right? But at the same time, you as a wholesaler or as an investor, you're trying to beautify areas, making them beautiful, increasing the value of the area, increasing the quality of life of the area. That's, that's an important job. Think about it like you're a superhero. And without you, how is any of this gonna ever happen without the superhero wholesaler like me? I'll tell you how, how it won't happen if I don't refill this drink soon. I got five minutes. Five more minutes. Hello? Thanks for calling English and Shelby. How may I help you? Uh, I think I have the wrong number. Sorry about that. You're fine. Hello? Hello? Uh, hi, um, I'm, I'm not sure if I have the right number, but I'm looking for the owner at 1309 Kings Road. Is that you? Uh, no. By any chance, do you know Jay Hennett? Yeah, that's my father and it's not for sale. Okay, totally understand that. Appreciate your time. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. She says it's not for sale, but daddy didn't tell me it wasn't for sale. All right. Hello? Yes. Hi, I'm not sure if I have the right number, but I'm looking for the owner of 1004 Pebble Drive. Is that you? No, you have the wrong number. All right, sorry about that. Uh, by any chance, do you know Carla Haynes? What'd you say? I said, by any chance, do you know Carla Haynes? I don't. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a great day. You, you have a blessed day. Thank you. You too, thank you. All right, cool. I'm going to cut it short here. I'm going to give you guys a total real quick. So let me see reports. Okay, so let me let me calculate this because I, I don't even have my calculator open. But so earlier when I started this, this whole deal, I had about 650 phone calls made. So I currently made 326 phone calls in what, like, 30 minutes roughly, which is not bad. Um, 326 phone calls. So usually it would have taken me about, you know, just so you know, my calculator is correct. It would have taken me about, uh, I would say a little bit over an hour and a half to do that. And I did that in 30 minutes. That's pretty good. Uh, my whole daily total was 976 phone calls and I was on the phone for maybe an hour. So not bad. I mean, yeah, I got one lead. Um, this lady that she might sell in the future, not really sure if it's a deal or not, but we'll find out. And as far as everybody else, I know that this wasn't like, you know, I got any deals that were like slam dunk deals. I mean, I've done it before, but it's kind of like, you don't know what you're gonna get when you start cold calling. You could get a really good deal or you could get no deals. You could, you know, get nothing. I've had days where we call for hours and we get absolutely nothing, but that's okay too. You know, that's totally okay. If anything, all the not interested and all the wrong numbers, it makes it easier on me because I'm now weeding out my list, getting uh, more stuff out. But that's it guys for today. I'm gonna go ahead and log off here and I'm happy you guys were here. So catch you guys on another vlog.